What's going on, everybody? <sighs> Crazy Dog back again. Another disappointing Browns game once again. Uh, you know, first half of this game, I thought Browns are kind of look, looking pretty dang good. I mean, Hartline scored two touchdowns. He finally uh, showed up. That's good. Duke Johnson tore it up in the first half. First half. But, just, we were looking good in the first half. I thought, maybe we can pull it out. <laughs> but, second half was a totally different story. I mean, in the first half, the Rams missed two, what would have been touchdown passes. Um, one think they're both slightly overthrown. That could have easily you know, really that would have turned the game around even more. Surprisingly enough, we won the turnover battle. Got what one interception and like three fumble recoveries, which I never thought about seeing that from the Browns. But once again, the Browns pull a you know a typical Browns game performance. And uh, blow it. Blew it wide open. Not in a good way either. The Cardinals made so made some good adjustments. Uh, again, they went deep. Connected on most of their passes. Joe Hayden and Whitner went out again with concussions. This is definitely not all pro Joe that we know. This is not the same Joe Hayden that we had last year. Or part of last year. Most of last year, because he was pretty good last year and the year before that. This is a different Joe Hayden. Um, obviously, the injuries are taking their toll on him. Gibson looked looked okay. Got his first interception since week one. Um, Monty Bryant was a beast. Duke Johnson's a beast. But he ain't winning games. You can be a beast. The whole team can be a beast, but you can still lose. So we are now two and six. We got what is it? Cincinnati on the on Thursday. So um, I will most likely get a preview video for that game on Tuesday, or maybe Wednesday. Probably do Tuesday because it's a earlier game. I don't know how I'm gonna. I don't know what to say about this game though. I mean, we had them. <laughs> In the words of that old, uh, I've watched. I don't know if you've seen that video, but uh, that Ram that Rams. Cardinals coach, we they were who we thought they were, and they were who we thought they were. They were are the freaking Arizona Cardinals, and they have a very good secondary. Which at first we were kind of beating up a little bit, but then they kind of came to their senses, and beat the living crap out of us. <laughs> no doubt about that. There's no hiding that they kicked the crap out of us. They woke up in the second half. Caught us napping and pretty much killed us. Josh McCown was taking beating after beating after beating after some of these plays. He saw him like like almost on the ground in pain. Man, there was even a point where Manzel almost went into the game and Petten just like, no, nah, no, nah, get back in the sidelines. Oh, but then finally, like in two minutes left, he puts Manzel in and Dwayne Bowe. <laughs> Really, you're going to wait until two minutes to put Manzel in and Bo? We didn't even see Bo the whole game. I don't even think he caught a whole another pass. He had, like, two passes thrown his way. No. No. Man, this team just... They're so dysfunctional. And... Uh, I don't know what to think, man. Uh, it's so embarrassing, you know, I mean, every week we think we're going to do good. The Browns crap on us. The only good thing about it is tomorrow's the Cavs game. That's the only thing that I like, the Cavs. Every Sunday it's like, ooh, we're going to get excited for like a minute, and then I'm like, yeah, we're probably going to lose. I had a feeling we were going to have that kind of performance in the second half. I was like, oh, God, I'm scared. What are we? What's going to happen in the second half? We had too good of a first half. Our first half was too good. 
I was like, wait a minute, this isn't Browns football. It's unusual. We actually, we usually suck. What is this? But, of course, the typical Browns came out and uh, blew it. Blew it wide open. Hmm. Got Cincinnati coming up. Uh, this team, man. Oh, God, I just want this to be over. But it's got a long way to go. What I would give to have a good team. Oh, man. Oh, well. So. So, um. I don't know what to say. This team is just, uh. I don't even get excited anymore. McCown, I'm going to start calling McCown cinder blocks because he cannot run. He runs like he's got cinder blocks on his feet. I think, someone's, I think someone called him that. I don't know. But that's a, that's, a, that's a good nickname. If someone ever calls him, that's a good nickname for Josh McCown, cinder blocks, because he seriously runs like he has cinder blocks on his feet. <sighs> ah, man. I do not know. Well, uh, I gotta get over this one. <laughs> never ends. It never ends. That's why I don't do tra I don't do bets or anything because my teams. I don't trust my team. We probably wind up. I'd probably be giving away all this crap. And so that'll do it for me this week. I'll see you all probably on Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, to preview the next game, which is, I think, on Thursday against the Bengals. Yay. Well, crazy dog. I'm always 100% dog pound, as always, no matter what happens on the field, even through this mess. All right. Go Browns. See you all later.